and the latke contest. Please sit back and enjoy.
think of my giant Denny. <laughs> oh, thank you, dear. I know. Why don't we skip the party this year and go to your house instead? Uh, yeah, yeah, great, great idea. idea. Skip the party? You all sound pretty desperate. I will pull out a cup or not to make any kid desperate. <laughs> uh, this reminds me. Have you ever heard the story of Princess Pumpernickel and the Lobster Contest? No. no. Better sail down, kids. My Denny has a story for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and Denny story. A long time ago, there was a Jewish kingdom called Ra. Like the bread? Yes, like the bread. And if you interrupt me again, I'll call at you. <laughs> Now, as I was saying, the kingdom of Rai was ruled by a basically kind and very bossy king by the name of Arthur, who wore a low-shaped crown encrusted with jewels, and his lovely wife, Gibbersphere. <laughs> Pumpernickel, what have you done? Mwah, mwah, mwah. 
I don't like raisins. <laughs> Pick them out. <laughs> Fetch their dates a lot at once. We must get to work preparing the entertainment. And fetch my loyal and trusted Chief of Security, Sir Rudy.
Father has planned for me? I know it's dreadful. Why don't you enter, Peter? You're a great cook. You would surely win. But princess, I'm no prince. I'm just not upper crust. But you are to me. Help me, Peter. You're my only hope. Help me, Peter. You're my only hope. <laughs> Contest and have the princess for my 
remember the exploding box 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 as the princes arrive with their place of what goes you will disarm them. Take away the sorcerer on really them? No. Tell them jokes and put them at ease. Oh. Yes! Take away their swords? For security reasons, you understand. Why? Then why? Then I will dress in my finest and enter the boxing contest myself. If I win, I will marry the princess and we will all live happily ever after. And when you lose? Then I will take the throne. Who will be able to stop me? And we'll still live happily ever after. Looks like we've got a win that situation here, sir. What a guy, what a plan. That's so perfect idea. <laughs>
vodkas are delicious. They are sublime. Best of all, they don't turn me into a chicken. Who are you, good man? Peter, the son of the palace cook, sire. The cook's son? Too bad. These vodkas are good enough to win the contest. But you are not a prince. Oh, father, he may not be a prince, but he is good and true. A prince of young men, you might say. Please, please declare him the winner. Oh, charming sheep, I must object. You see, this boy may be pleasant, but he's just a peasant. He does not deserve to win the hand of your beloved princess. Arthur, see how our daughter cares for Peter? Don't you think that to count for something? Please, Father, he's a great cook, and <coughs> so. He can cook and so? Oh, all right, you win. <coughs> we marry the princess with my voice. Mother! King Arthur, oh puny potentate, as I said before, I must object. You think this peasant will inherit the kingdom in my rightful place? No way, Jose! What's a Jose? Oh, it's a running gag. Everyone, move aside. On your knees. The royal family has a day to my guards in the romantic candlelit dungeon. Sesame? 
Caraway, Poppy, and Irving. <laughs>
listed on the back of your program, and due to the late hour, I just want to name a few people. Our children are very, very, very talented. However, they could not put together such a funny, witty, and talented production without the help of our faculty and staff and some incredible volunteers. So I'd like to call a couple of them forward. First is our guest drama specialist and drama person extraordinaire does amazing things with children, young and old, Deborah Lewinter.